Welcome to Motivational Stories. Subscribe for more insights. These five motivational stories will encourage you to follow your dreams, treat others with kindness, and never give up on yourself. Find the power to change the way you think and your life. Story number one. Your good deeds could change the world every Sunday morning. I take a light jog around a park near my home. There's a lake located in one corner of the park. Each time I jog by this lake, I see the same elderly woman sitting at the water's edge with a small metal cage sitting beside her. This past Sunday, my curiosity got the best of me, so I stopped jogging and walked over to her. As I got closer, I realized that the metal cage was, in fact, a small trap. There were three turtles, unharmed, slowly walking around the base of the trap. She had a fourth turtle in her lap that she was carefully scrubbing with a spongy brush. Hello, I said. I see you here every Sunday morning. If you don't mind my nosiness, I'd love to know what you're doing with these turtles. She smiled. I'm cleaning off their shells, she replied. Anything on a turtle's shell, like algae or scum, reduces the turtle's ability to absorb heat and impedes its ability to swim. It can also corrode and weaken the shell over time. Wow! I exclaimed. She went on, I spend a couple of hours each Sunday morning relaxing by this lake and helping these little guys out. It's my own strange way of making a difference. But don't most freshwater turtles live their whole lives with algae and scum hanging from their shells? I asked. Yep, sadly they do, she replied. I scratched my head. Well then, don't you think your time could be better spent? I mean, I think your efforts are kind and all, but there are freshwater turtles living in lakes all around the world. And 99 of these turtles don't have kind people like you to help them clean off their shells. So, no offense, but how exactly are your localized efforts here truly making a difference? The woman giggled aloud. She then looked down at the turtle in her lap, scrubbed off the last piece of algae from its shell, and said, Sweetie, if this little guy could talk, he'd tell you I just made all the difference in the world. Story number two. Don't let your circumstances change you there. Once was a blind woman who hated herself purely because she could not see. The only person she loved was her boyfriend, as he was always there for her. She said that if she could only see the world, then she would marry him. One day, someone donated a pair of eyes to her. Now she could see everything, including her boyfriend. Her loving boyfriend asked her, Now that you can see the world, will you marry me? The woman was shocked when she saw that her boyfriend was blind too and refused to marry him. Her boyfriend walked away in tears and wrote a short note to her saying, Just take care of my eyes, dear. Story number three. You are not going to get anything handed to you. A man walked to the top of a hill to talk to God. The man asked, God, what's a million years to you? And God said, a minute. Then the man asked, Well, what's a million dollars to you? And God said, A penny. Then the man asked, God, can I have a penny? Story number four. Do not get too greedy. It was an incredibly hot day and a lion was feeling very hungry. He crawled out of his den and searched here and there, but he could only find a small hair. He caught the hair but with some hesitation, as he knew the hare wouldn't fill him up. As the lion was about to kill the hare, he spotted a deer coming his way and thought, instead of eating this small hare, let me eat that big deer. So he let the hare go and went after the deer, but it vanished in the forest. The lion now had nothing to eat as the hare was also long gone. Story number five. Your talent only matters if you are somewhere. It can be used a mother and a baby camel were lying around under a tree. Then the baby camel asked, Why do camels have humps? The mother camel considered this and said, We are dessert animals, so we have the humps to store water so we can survive with very little water. The baby camel thought for a moment then said, Okay, why are our legs long and our feet rounded? The mama replied, They are meant for walking in the desert. The baby paused. After a beat, the camel asked, Why are our eyelashes long? Sometimes they get in my way. The mama responded, Those long, thick eyelashes protect your eyes from the desert sand when it blows in the wind. 
The baby thought and thought. Then he said, I see. So the hump is to store water when we are in the desert. The legs are for walking through the desert, and these eyelashes protect my eyes from the desert. Then why in the zoo? Thank you for watching. I wish you stay motivated.